So now in this video, we're going to go over the power pins on this Arduino board. Now Arduino lets anybody make their boards and even sell them under different names. So in this case, Elegoo made this board. This is a Mega 2560R3, which came in this kit. This kit is going to be the main kit I get components out of while I'm making uh, future videos. So now the pins on this board are labeled really well. Right now we're going to focus on the power pins here and we're going to focus mostly on this 3.3 volt 5 volt ground ground and the voltage in and here you can see them from the side if I zoom in any closer the camera goes blurry but uh, here you can see that uh, you can easily see them here and you can see the slot that the pins are located in uh, quite a bit easier from the side so this board really marks these pins really well so now we're going to start with the ground pins. So as I said on the power pin side here, we have two ground pins. I put a red and a blue jumper. The color of these jumpers doesn't matter. Uh, right now, I just grabbed the uh, easiest jumpers I have. And on the other side of the board, there's also a ground pin. So I put a jumper in there. And what I want to show you is that all these ground pins are connected. So this meter will beep if there's zero resistance when I connect uh, to these two pins. And so you can see there's about one that's probably more how I was holding it than the actual resistance between the pins. And here you can see again virtually zero volts. So these three pins are connected to each other. If you can plug it into one pin, you could plug it into the other pins. The ground is where circuits uh, finish their journey. It starts on the positive side of the power source. I'm talking about uh, DC right now. And ultimately ends on the negative side of the power source, which we call ground for DC circuits. Now here's the, the power jack. You can put a varying amount of voltage to this jack. Uh, I'm going to be plugging 9 volts into there. And ultimately, for the rest of the board, it turns that into 5 volts. And uh, you can put different voltages through here and uh, as long as you put it within a reasonable amount if it's too high it'll damage the board too low the board won't work but anyways the negative side of this jack as you can see is connected directly to these three ground pins and that's what you expect with a DC uh, circuit so now that we got ground covered we're gonna come to the positive side the uh, voltage side of these pins and so I have the board plugged in. This is an AC to DC adapter. You input 120 volts alternating current and out comes 9 volts of direct current. And the board turns that into 5 volts to operate the board. But now there's three pins on here too that it outputs voltage on. And so now we zoom in to get a better look. And remember the end of these two jumpers are clipped to the probes of the multimeter and we'll take a measurement of the voltage there. So to begin with we're going to put this pin into the pin slot for the 3.3 volt and as you can see right now it's outputting 3.3 volts that's what the meter is measuring. So we can power a small circuit with 3.3 volts just by putting the ends of that circuit into those two pins. So this board's actually outputting a voltage. Now the 3.3 volt though, it looks like uh, from the different boards I looked at that are basically the same as this one, that you don't want to run more than 50 milliamps of current through uh, this pin, the 3.3 volt pin. Now we're going to move it over one more. Now you see we're at 5 volts. And uh, you can run a lot more current from what I see through this one. I think it's 500 milliamps, uh, but of course you want to verify that before you use it. But as you can see here, you can power a circuit independently from the board, other than this being the power source. You can power another circuit with uh, this pin to get 5 volts. So now we're going to go to the end of the power board here. And uh, this is the VN, voltage in. And you can see the voltage is slightly below the power source voltage. As I said, we're powering this with 9 volts. 
and I think it went through a diode and so we lost a diode's worth of voltage there but you can see it's almost as high as the power source voltage so that's what the VN pin is for voltage in and so now you can see we can power this simple circuit it's just an LED with a protective resistor this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor so uh, somewhat high uh, but uh, right now we have the uh, positive pin on the 3.3 volts of course the blue pin goes to ground to the negative now we'll move it to 5 volts the LED got a little bit brighter now we'll move it to voltage in which is about eight and a half volts and you see it's even brighter we'll compare that now with uh, the three volt you should see that one's quite a bit dimmer than uh, that one because we got more than twice the voltage applied there so going to be about twice the current so that's what these power pins are for the board regulates the voltage to 3.3 uh, at that pin or 5 volts at that pin or you can connect to uh, almost the full voltage of the power source powering the board with the voltage in pin and uh, other than that it's just providing power that you can tap into for uh, components that are otherwise independent of the board there's no programming or anything needed to get power to these pins whereas the other pins on the board you do have to do programming to get uh, power from them